So, uh, hello everybody, I'm back with another homebrew tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to actually homebrew your own Wii. So what you want to do is you want to go into Google, you want to type please dot please, wait, please dot hack me dot com. And then you're going to go to this page, which is the letter bomb page. So you want to choose your system menu version, and you've, if you check this, then just click whatever one is. I have a 4.3U. And then you're going to put your Mac address for the Wii in. You're going to ha make sure it says bundle the hack me installer for me. And then you click I am not a robot. And then you click these. So now I'm going to show you where to get that information, like the... 4.3U and the MAC address. So now you are on your Wii menu. So I'm on my own Wii menu. There's Dolphin Wii menu. So I'm gonna click Wii options, go into Wii settings, and in the top, in this top right corner, it's going to say version, and then it's going to say your version. So Make sure your Wii console is on 4.3U, because after you homebrewed your Wii, you can't update the console, or the console will brick itself. And if it says, U, it just, the U means like the version, like PAL, European, Jap Japanese, Korean, American, etc. So, yeah. So now then, what you want to do is go to Internet, Console Information, and then your man, man, MAC address will be right up here. There's gonna be a black box around this in editing because this is like actually my Wii's MAC address. But this is the MAC address that you wanna copy on the letter bomb site. So what you want to do is you want to click extract all. It's going to extract it, you're going to want to extract it to your SD card. So I'm going to extract these onto my desktop. Which means, oh no, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to copy these over onto my SD card. So now what you want to do is you can safely eject your SD card now. So now you're going to put this in your Wii. Then you're going to back out here Go to your Wii message board, and then boom. Now it's just gonna wait a sec, and then boom, you're in. Now it's gonna say the software is sold. The software must not be sold, neither, neither alone or nor as a part of a bundle. If you paid for the software or received a part as a part of a bundle following payment, you should have been scammed, and you should demand your money back immediately. So, this is a YouTube tutorial, so I don't think I'm gonna scam you. Anyways, it's just going to say, press 1 to continue in like a minute or two. So, yeah, I just got to wait for that to happen. And then it says, press 1 to continue. So now, it says, make sure it says on both of them can be installed. So you're going to click continue. You're going to up to this. You're going to click install the homebrew channel. And then you can, yes, continue. And it's going to install the homebrew channel. Might take a few seconds. When it says success, click continue. Now you're going to go to boot me. You, I can install boot me as boot 2, but I'm going to install boot me as an iOS. 
So I'm going to, yes, continue. Done installing Boot Me iOS now. So I installed Boot Me as a Boot 2 and I had a Boot Me iOS, but I'm so now, when you click exit, you're going to be brought to the Homebrew channel. And we're going to do one more thing before we leave for wee brick protection. So now that you've installed the Homebrew channel, what you're going to want to do is load your SD card back into your computer. Go to your SD card, and then you're going to want to make a new folder. Or actually, I don't know. So there's going to be... So I'm going to leave a link in the description for an app called Preloader. And with that, we're going to draw it. And then we're going to... So what we're going to do is we're going to download that from there. And then we're going to download the app from there. And then we're going to copy this to your SD card. So if it says anything about this destination already has a file, skip. So it doesn't break anything. So now you can have an apps folder with an app called Preloader in it, and it's going to have these in it. So, what you're going to do is, again, eject your SD card from your Wii. I mean, your computer. Then you're going to insert it into your Wii. And then if you've done everything right, this should show up. So now what you're going to want to do is... So you're going to go up to this preloader, you're going to click on it, then you're going to click load. It's going to do its thing for a sec. Then what you want to do is you're going to click plus on the GameCube or the not GameCube controller. Or you're going to click plus on the Wii remote and, or A on the GameCube controller. So now it says it's installed fully. So you can click A to exit back to your loader which is the homebrew channel. And that's all. That's how to homebrew your Wii.